Hello, so in my last video, I, I shared my story about how I got access to GPT-3. I included screenshots of my emails as well as provided some tips and pointers to you guys on how you could get access to GPT-3. However, I realize a lot of you still don't have access to it, even though you'd love to play around with it, mess around with it, build stuff with it, see what it does. And so in today's video, we're, we're doing almost like an AMA and ask me anything, but with GPT-3. So the idea is in the comments below, you guys can post questions or prompts for GPT-3 and using the access that I have, I would plug in those prompts. And then later, maybe next week, I'll share a follow-up video with you guys about what GPT-3 had to say or what was, it what was its response for the prompts that you gave it. And we can discuss the findings next week. And so this is, this is your chance to, you know, maybe get a taste of GPT-3 through me, through my access. Um, and see what it does in case you're really curious. Uh, and so th that's, the, that's the point of today's video is you can ask GPT-3 anything, this is your chance. This is how you can participate. So please like the video, this video, subscribe to my channel and include your prompt in the comments below. You can also email me, my email is there, but I recommend you, you put it in the comments because if other people read your comment and upvote it, it's more likely that I can take a look and prioritize that specific prompt over the others. I'm gonna try my best to go through as many prompts as possible in my follow-up video, but I can't guarantee that. Uh, but I understand if you wanna email me just for privacy reasons, you don't feel comfortable posting a comment publicly, that's fine, you can email me too. I just, I don't know how well it stands a chance if something is heavily upvoted, it's, you know, it can be really hard to choose, right? Uh, and then lastly, if you're either watching this video or uh, you, you've just participated and posted a prompt, could you please upvote the prompts that you like in the comments below? You know, ideally please upvote prompts that you would like to see that you think would be beneficial for the audience. And that can help me prioritize which prompts to, to focus on for the next video, the follow-up video. Uh, generally, I want this kind of format. So the first thing is I'd like you to describe the scenario or the idea or the background. So. For example, you could you, it could be as simple as, you know, I love to watch baseball. I've been watching baseball since I was a kid. I'm curious how GPT-3 can answer basic statistical performance questions about baseball. That's So that's your scenario, that's your background, that's maybe the sort of leading into the idea. Then you could share your idea is, could you ask GPT-3 who won the World Series in a specific year? I mean, you could also do a more technical version of number one, which is, you know, I work in quality assurance. I've been working for 10 years. One thing I've been very curious about with GPT-3 is how well it can just identify elements on a web page uh, with just with English or with natural language, because right now we have to use IDs or specific classes and keep updating them. It's a real pain. And so my idea is, and you could share that, and then essentially that gives the audience some sense of what, what you want. That gives me a sense of what you want. And we can go from there, right? Next, in step two, I'd like you to share which preset you would like. So you guys don't have access to GPT-3, but GPT-3 has a few built-in presets or modes. The chat mode, I'd say, is more playful. It's more fun. It generally gives shorter answers. Although you can make them longer, it can be hit or miss. There's question mode. So question mode is good for very direct questions with specific factual answers. So for example, um, who won the World Series in a specific year? What is the population of Canada? Question mode is really good for that. It can be a little bit philosophical, but not really in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, so that's the chat and question modes. The unstructured out of the box mode is, you know, it's really, it's technically basically no preset at all. You are just giving GPT-3 some kind of input or some kind of text, and then we hit, you know, the submit button and just see what it has to say. The unstructured trained mode is basically, it's still basically unstructured, but the difference is we would be giving it one or two examples just to, and like example inputs and example outputs. So it has an idea of what we want. And then we would see what it has to say given an, a, th a third, example, or I guess a test case, just to see how it performs. I like to just a lot of the times ask philosophical questions to unstructure it out of the box and just see what GPT-3 has to say. Um, and so yeah, that's point three is unstructured out of the box gives very open-ended answers. 
again and then unstructured trained is requires a prompt in a specific format i'm gonna be talking about that in the next slide but it's also very powerful as well just even with one or two examples it is really exciting the things that gpt3 can do so this is the format i'm looking for for unstructured trained uh, basically, uh, please summarize the following paragraph. This could be anything. So you could say, please summarize the following article, right? You can give the cool part about GPT-3 is you can give it, uh, specific kinds of instructions that you would like it to do. And it, I guess it kind of understands what you're saying, right? So please summarize the following paragraph. And underneath that is where you would put the actual text for the paragraph. Then there's output colon, and underneath that, you would just manually put in the kind of answer you're looking for, right? And GPT-3 will mimic it eventually. You do the same thing again. So pre-summarize the following paragraph, example, paragraph number two. So you would include a second paragraph. And underneath output, you would include a, a second answer to the paragraph for the one you want. And then finally, <clears throat> at the end, you would put a test input paragraph number one. So this would be now us testing to see if GPT-3 understood our examples. And there's no reason to include an output underneath because that's where GPT-3 would fill in the response for us. Now you're welcome to include a second test input paragraph. I like to do like a, a simple test input paragraph number one and a hard test input paragraph number two. You're welcome to do that um, uh, just to see how it does. And I like to do that just to see how robust it is. So you can do that. And again, you can rephrase this, right? So if you wanted to write code, you know, you know, please generate the following code snippet. You know, in the past, if you watch my previous videos, I put, please tokenize the following sentence, right? So, I mean, this is just the format I'm looking for. And I feel like this is the format to train GPT-3, but uh, this is what I'm looking for. It will streamline it so we can go through a lot of these and, and, and just see what GPT-3 does and have a discussion about it next week. And I'm asking if you could please submit this prompt because it's so long, maybe in a paste bin link or maybe in some Google Drive link, some way to share. I don't know if you can post YouTube comments that long. Otherwise, I'd be okay with it being in there too. So find some way if you, and by the way, this is only for unstructured trained. This is not for unstructured out of the box. This is not for chat. This is not for question. This is a more complex kind of thing. But I, I, you know, I recommend it. I think a lot of the times, whatever you do want to do with GPT-3, something like this is where you really get the benefits of GPT-3. Whereas chat and question and the other modes, uh, they do work, but they do return a certain kind of response, right? And most of the time I've noticed people are looking for a specific kind of response. So it helps if you just give it trained examples before that. Anyways, and of course, if you have any questions, like even about the format or unstructured format, whatever, post that in the comments too. I'll be monitoring and responding, response, uh, responding to the questions uh, in, in there and, and just so that everybody has a chance to participate. Um, I'll be accepting suggestions basically till Sunday night. We'll see. I, I don't know if we're going to get a lot. We're going to get a few. Um, depending on how many we get, I'll be sharing the video of the results where we can discuss them sometime next week. I'll try to include as many as possible. I'm going to do my best. I just can't guarantee it. Uh, in the video next week, I'll include three of the attempts we did to see what GPT-3 does. And these will be the first, like the, basically the first three. So I'm not doing any cherry picking. I feel like a lot of you are also curious about, you know, am I, am I hand choosing a lot of these responses? Most of my responses have not been hand chosen that I've shared in previous videos. So, in this case, I will be verbatim, just pasting. This is GPT-3's, you know, response number one, response attempt number two, response attempt number three. And again, this is for us to discuss, right? So I wanna keep it as uh, unaltered objective as possible. I will include the configuration settings in my video too. So basically, typically you adjust how long of a response you want GPT-3 to give you and some other things like temperature. You don't need to worry about these details, but I'm going to include those configuration settings, screenshots of it next week as well. And then that way, if somebody wants to replicate GPT-3 later to replicate our findings, they can do that too. And then finally, I just want to say, I mean, this is a given. I'm looking for just appropriate and safe GPT-3 prompt submissions. So, you know, interesting use cases that others would like to see that everyone would benefit from. Um, and, you know, again, the focus is, again, appropriate and safety. You know, this is a public YouTube channel, so uh, we want to keep it up to a certain level and something still fun, but, you know, interesting, curious and appropriate. Um, 
anyway, so I'm excited to, to hear what you guys suggest. Uh, and I'm looking forward to even just seeing what GPT-3 comes up with. Uh, so anyways, uh, please uh, remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.